that bullshit company that owns my intellectual property. Fucking up classic franchises left and right, and with stupid, greedy, cash grab decision making. You fucking whores, Capcom, taste my motherfucking blaster, bitches. <laughs> you, Crapcom, fuck you up against the wall with crunchy peanut butter. Hey, fools, it's Mr. T, and I'm back, and uh, what the f is Capcom doing? God damn it. I don't want to make videos like this. This is number three, I think, on Capcom, so I guess we're going to call it Third Strike. <laughs> we're going to talk about all the different things that Capcom's doing to get on my damn nerves. One, the Mega Man uh, Anniversary Collection, having us download the second part of the game when it could easily fit on a, a small cart that would cost Capcom no money. Uh, nonsense. Then we got these fools with this damn day one patch for old ass games. Uh, what do I even say? <laughs> Drive me insane, fools. I don't understand what to say. And then we get uh, Monster Hunter Generations Ultimate, I believe it's called. I just don't understand why it wasn't being lo localized uh, on the Switch for the American market. I never understood that. Or the West market, Western market. Now it's finally getting localized and uh, you want to celebrate these things, but it's like uh, another 3DS upport on the Nintendo console. Meanwhile, these other fools, uh, you know, getting Monster Hunter World, the, the first true console Monster Hunter game in a long time with updated visuals, you know, console visuals. It's just annoying. It just doesn't make any, you know, you have fools running around talking about, oh, I believe that Capcom is making a, a Switch specific uh, Monster Hunter game. I don't know why. Or I don't know what makes them think uh, Capcom has these kind of resources or would even put that kind of work into anything. Uh, I just don't understand what fools were thinking and why they thought that was going to be a thing. Where is the Capcom that apparently pushed Nintendo to go from two gigabytes to four gigabytes of RAM uh, uh, for the Nintendo Switch? Remember that? That was a rumor. We, uh, Capcom, we ought to thank Capcom for making Nintendo put four gigs of RAM in the Switch so uh, they could make uh, a port of Resident Evil 7. Yeah, still, fools are still waiting on that. You know, I think it was basically a rumor. Nobody confirmed that was to be a thing. And I think that's the problem with uh, gaming today at this point. Rumors back back in the day, you know, it was just, oh, that's a rumor, you know. Today, it's like reported on as it's a fact. And don't let one of these fools guess correctly on something, because then they have credibility. <laughs> it just doesn't make any sense. These fools should know better. I don't know why people would report on these things like they're uh, bona fide facts. I just don't get it. But uh, it happens over and over again. And so here we are with Capcom, just, just bungling, fumbling all over the damn place. And at this point, I'm just like, I feel like, you know, I'm just gonna, I feel like boycotting them. I feel like giving them the EA boycott. It's just like, I'm just so underwhelmed by the things that they do, the tactics. I mean, look, I mean, even their bona fide main franchise, mainline franchise, like Street Fighter V. When that dropped, it was a, you know, it was a debacle. Of course, you had people out defending it, comparing it to Splatoon and all this utter nonsense. You know, I won't get into all that, but it's it pretty pathetic. The game itself, mechanically, was strong. I, I could see that. The point was the content was not there. It's just like, you can't treat your mainline series like this. So when you start doing that, everything, you know, everything's a wrap. You know, imagine if, you know, Nintendo treated their mainline Mario games the way they treated Mario Tennis Ultra Trash. I mean, that would have just been, there would have been no excuses for me. Yo, get this, you know, correct, because some fools say, oh man, you talk about these things, uh, you know, uh, you talk about these things, you make people not want to buy. I ain't making anybody want to do nothing. If you that weak-minded, that you would just go off of what somebody else tell you to do. I saw fools doing that uh, last gen with the Wii U. And so I wouldn't say that. That's just uh, utter nonsense. You're part of the problem. You, you know, we're trying to fix things and you fools is making it harder. You know, I wouldn't do nothing like that. I'm just saying, I ain't buying the garbage. I ain't, I'm not putting up with it. So my boycott is for me, not for anybody else. Buy what you want. I won't say anything about it. But for me, I'm just saying as a Nintendo fan, uh, I'm tired of not getting a console, a true console version of Monster Hunter. I'm sure the game will play great. I think it's running 60 for eight, whatever it is. That's all fine and good. It's Monster Hunter. You know what to expect. Uh, there's pretty good content. Um, some fools are saying, you know, there's, uh, you know, Monster Hunter Worlds, whatever, is kind of a watered down Monster Hunter that doesn't have the amount of content that you expect for Monster Hunter game. I don't know these things firsthand, so I don't know. I'm not gonna talk on that. For me, Capcom is, you know, lost a step. You know, they, they're not what they used to be. It's, it's been some time since that's been the case, but I, you know, I'm talking particularly, specifically as a Nintendo fan, they ain't been treating us right, and uh, we've been giving them our money. We've been keeping them afloat on some things. The sales of Monster Hunter games on 3DS and 
you know, things like that. Yeah, those things were coming in, swooped in, and help uh, Capcom when they were in need of some financials. You know, when they need some damn money. Nintendo fans were there for them. And we just saying, be there for us. I don't know, fools. I'm just kind of done with Capcom at this point. Like, I can't support their games. Again, this is me. I ain't telling you fools what to do. But for me, I just can't do it. I'm not going to do it. And uh, they got to change for me to even give a damn about anything they bring out. Because at this point, their mainline series are a shell. You know, uh, all they do is mostly rehash and re-port and HD port. All their HD ports. It's just like, I, I, I don't care enough. I'm not going to support it. Just not going to support them at this point. Um, unless they start bringing some more quality back to Capcom name. Um, not just, I'm just not feeling the food. So, I'm done at this point. So, uh, let me know what your think in the comments below. Think I'm overreacting? I don't. I give them many chances, fools. Many chances. So, thank you for watching and listening. And I'll see you fools next time. Peace out.